Tonight, while votes have been counted in a largely academic congressional election here in Massachusetts, key races are still in play in several states. Margaret Brennan, host and moderator of CBS's Face the Nation, joining us right now from Washington. And Margaret, uh, control of Congress still unclear as votes are still being counted. What's the latest? That's right. All eyes are out west in the states of Arizona and Nevada, where votes are still being counted. We may have updates on that by Sunday that could indicate where the balance of power lies. Of course, for the state of Georgia, that Senate runoff election, we won't know the results of until the beginning of December. Uh, so. The big question is, why didn't the red wave materialize that was widely predicted? And if we are headed for gridlock, what does that mean? When we look at the CBS News estimates, uh, CBS is standing by its expectation that Republicans do clinch control of the House, but with a very slim majority that will make governing difficult. Uh, and so if there isn't the likelihood of new laws, it's more likely to be a scenario where we get a lot of hearings, a lot of investigations, um, and not a lot of help for President Biden's agenda. We're going to talk to one of his top advisors, Anita Dunn, Sunday, along with Republican Senator Tom Cotton and Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin of Maryland. Yeah, and of course, by Sunday morning, the situation will have evolved. So uh, tune in, watch Margaret. Margaret, thank you. Mm -hmm. Face the Nation should be a fascinating conversation Sunday morning at 1030 on WBZ.